Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do 3D Oscar cookies. This is my go-to sugar cookie recipe. Um, I'm going to add gel color to it. I'm going to add just plain yellow and black. And it's going to be the body of the Oscar and the base of the Oscar. And you just mix it in uh, like regular fondant. I do this because some customers don't like the extra sugar and the sweetness of royal icing or fondant or modeling chocolate, any of the other things that you could use on a cookie. This is my Joseph Joseph rolling pin. It comes with built-in uh, rolling sizes. And what it does is it makes the dough uniform all the way across. And that's important when you do cookies because you want them to all be the exact same uh, thickness. And I'm using a cookie cutter that I made myself. And if enough people are interested, I can do a tutorial on how to bend that. Um, and I'm going to use saran wrap. And you put the saran wrap over the cookie dough and you push it in and what that does is it causes it to have beveled edges which I kind of wanted for the um, statues. And put those into the freezer uh, for about 15 minutes or as long as you need to. Do the same with the black. I'm going to roll out four two inch and four two and a half inch cookies in circles. And this is going to be piled on top of each other and it'll be the base of the statue. Now you're going to take them out of the freezer and clean up the edges a little bit. Um, when you make your own cookie cutter sometimes the edges are a little bit rough. And when they're able to be handled you can just take them straight out of the freezer and clean up the edges and bake them off. Uh, but I'm going to put lollipop sticks in them, and if you've ever wired a leaf or a flower in regular gum paste, you know the process. You put it in and you feel where it is so that it doesn't pop out the top or scourge out the bottom. Scourge, is that a word? I don't know. It doesn't poke out the bottom, and it doesn't poke out the top. And then you can just bake them off like regular. Uh, make sure their heads are kind of... Yeah, there you go. And you're good to go. Now that they're baked, I forgot to tell you, I put holes into the round cookies with a straw. And now I'm reopening them with lollipop sticks so that uh, the lollipop stick will fit down. This is yellow modeling chocolate and I'm gonna use it on the cookie. I'm gonna show you four ways of doing these cookies. I'm going to cut the modeling chocolate from the top so that it's a little bit cleaner. And you can stick the modeling chocolate onto the cookie with either Cairo syrup, you could use um, gel, you could, yeah, deco gel, you could use um, chocolate, you could use anything. Here I've taken just regular candy melts, yellow candy melts, and I put it onto the cookie with a butter knife. It's that simple. And now I'm going to dip it into some sprinkles. And sometimes you just have to use your hand. Now this is definitely going to be a high-end option for you. We're going to use edible gold leaf. You can find gold leaf on Amazon and it comes either on sheets, transfer sheets, or it comes between tissue papers free of the sheets. 
I like to use it on the sheets because I feel it's a little bit more controllable. Um, if you've never played with Gold Leaf, it can be challenging at times. This is some stuff called Dip and Dab or something. It's by Wilton. And it does go on pretty easy. It doesn't harm the cookies. It has no flavor. And it will uh, help the Gold Leaf to stick. which forms the base of Oscar, um, to the bottom cookie. And I'm going to have to use a lollipop stick to line up the holes so that it is available for the post that holds Oscar, if that makes sense. Um, you can cover the base completely with chocolate and then hit it with some sanding sugar if you want it. Um, I didn't have any black sanding sugar, so or black sprinkles. So I just thought I would cover one with chocolate to show you what it looks like. The rest I think I will leave bare with just plain cookie. The sky's the limit really if you wanted to do a gold trim on this, if you wanted to do um, like I say sanding sugars and dragees. Um, if you wanted to do little name plaques on this, this would be a good opportunity to put it in. Completely sky is the limit. Here I'm using a, a needle tool to spread the chocolate out so that it covers the entire cookie. you just simply take out your lollipop stick, cut off the one in the cookie to the length that will fit in without uh, hitting the bottom. Let's use some scissors to cut the extra off. Looks like I got it a little short there, um, but it should hold up fine. The chocolate will set and um, hold that cookie up. Need to prop it on something until the cookie dries, until the chocolate dries. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest like that.
like me. You really like me. Uh...